Hey, thanks for watching. This is part one of an instructional video on a solution I found to a portable remote controlled airplane. I was looking for an airplane that I could pack easily into a suitcase, assemble and dismantle in relatively uh, short amount of time, a matter of minutes, and uh, something that would travel nicely throughout an airport. What I came up with was the Electrofly Mini Slinger. It's a flying wing. And although I'm not a huge fan of flying wings, uh, this model was really nice because it was very small, very lightweight, easy to put together. Um, I did a couple of mods and I'll show you those here. And then part two will be of the flight video uh, of the airplane. So uh, stay tuned and uh, hope you enjoy. So this is the Electrofly Mini sl Slinger. It's a flying wing. As you can see, it's rel relatively small. It's about a uh, two foot uh, wide box by, oh, not even 10 inches. Um, it, it's pretty compact. It fits in a suitcase very well. Um, and this is the Park Zone uh, FM transmitter that I'm using. What I've done with the transmitter, I've taken the gimbals and the uh, antenna off of the transmitter so it, it uh, also is compact now. It's about the size of a book and uh, will fit easily in a suitcase. So let's open the box and we'll show you what's inside. All right, in the box, I've packed all uh, everything I need to uh, get flying. Um, here I've got a uh, e-flight charger that will charge my two cell lipo batteries. I've got uh, both halves of the wings, so you can see there's one half here and the other half is there. I've also got um, this is my bag of parts. I've got the uh, wing tips there wingtips in the bag and some spare props. I've also got the gimbals for the uh, transmitter in there as well and a screwdriver to uh, fasten the wingtips on. Uh, there's the landing skid and then in the top part here here's the uh, cockpit canopy. This is also where the motor is housed and where the <clears throat> receiver is and uh, you can see my little my speed controller is in there as well too. It sits in the back. I've also got a spare glue gun. Oops, you can see here a glue gun, some glue sticks, just in case I need to do a quick repair. And uh, there's a couple of carbon fiber rods here um, to join the wings together. And then I also pack in some uh, floral wire. It's, uh, it's thinner gauge wire than like a piano wire, but this makes a great um, push rod. So putting this wing together is very simple. Um, I went ahead and did a couple of mods before I uh, traveled with it. And the first one was to put rare earth magnets on both sides of the wings here. This helps join the wings together. Oops, can you see? This helps join the wings together. Now this won't be the only way you, you fasten the wings together. Um, it doesn't have that much strength, but this plus a little bit of scotch tape works great. So the first thing I need to do is thread the carbon fiber into the wing. This makes uh, the wings a little bit more rigid for you. We'll go ahead and put the uh, wing together. And like that. And those rare earth magnets there already hold that wing in place pretty snug, which is nice. So with that carbon fiber and those rare earth magnets, you almost could fly it. But I would recommend at least putting a little bit of tape there for reinforcement. Now the next thing I'm going to do is um, mount the canopy in the cockpit onto the wing. Uh, the first thing I, I do is thread the servo wires through. There's a um, pre-drilled hole in the firewall there. So I'll thread those servo wires through that hole. And the canopy just sits snugly right on top of the uh, of the wing right there. All right, the cockpit is mounted there, um, and then I'll just put the uh, canopy back on here just temporarily. Uh, then what I like to do is just use some scotch tape, nothing simple or nothing fancy, just ordinary scotch tape. And I tape down the front part of the nose to underneath the wing here put some tape there and I'll do that on both sides. Um, the other thing I like to do is put some scotch tape right on the back part where the motor is. This is where the motor sits down on top of the wing. 
and I'll just uh, put a little scotch tape back there. And that makes uh, a nice joint. At this point, I will put the wing tips on. So we'll start on this side here. And I'll do some editing here so you don't have to watch me fumble with screwing in some screws. That's that. The one wing, wing tip is on there with two little screws. I should mention too that the uh, the wing tip has a nice uh, slab of balsa right at the uh, tip there, and that's how uh, that's what these wing tips are adhered to is that uh, slab of balsa with some screws. Um, the last thing I'm going to do here is is mount the uh, landing skid, and this is kind of like the last piece of reinforcement for joining the wing halves together. I just use a little bit of scotch tape. We'll flip this over here. And again, I'll put one piece of tape on the nose there, and another piece of tape on the other side of the nose. And that adheres it uh, the front down. The last thing I'll do is put another piece of tape right at the tail, kind of line it up, make sure it's all straight and square. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna do one more thing here too. And tape the sides down to the wing. Now that's just styrofoam so the tape peels off nicely. Doesn't really and there's no paint on the bottom so you're not scarring anything. But that's it. Now with the uh, landing skid in place, you also have it's elevated so you have a little um, grip to throw to do your hand launches. That makes a very rigid, very stiff wing. I mean that that'll take a lot of abuse. The next thing I'll do, oh, real simple here, the the uh, out of the goodie bag, you have your props. The props just are a compression fit. They go on like this. Oops, I got it backwards here. It's a compression fit, and it will just gently push on. And that's it, that's it for the prop, real simple. I uh, taped the FM uh, antenna along the leading edge of the wing, and then I'll run it down past the wing tip there. That way I can be sure that the antenna wire does not get sucked back into the motor prop. So um, that's it. That's all there is to it. Real simple. Again, here's that uh, park zone transmitter. The only thing I need to do is add the gimbals back onto it. And they just screw on and off. And once these are screwed in place, I am ready to go flying. Oh, I got to put the antenna on there too. So, can't forget about that. And screw in that antenna, which is in the box. All right. That slides in. Screwed on. And there is your completed portable RC airplane that fits in a suitcase. You can take it anywhere. And, uh,. Go flying, it's pretty nice. Oh, inside the cockpit too, I just want to show you real quick. Here are the, uh, here's the re receiver. Um, and then I just used a two cell, uh, 900 milliamp battery, LiPo battery, just that two cell battery in there. And magically it balances perfect in that configuration. So the center of gravity is right on and you are ready to go flying. So there it is, the Mini Slinger by Great Plains, Electrofly, and uh, assembles in just a few minutes and you're ready to go flying.